Hello everyone, this is Vita back with a second video for today, April 4th, Thursday. Take what resonates, kick rocks to the rest. Let's see what the guides, the gods would like for you to be aware of today, collective. All right, we've got numerology, precision, and oracle wisdom. Something I feel like for many of you, you're taking on some new level of responsibility when it comes to your healing and what you're putting out in the universe in terms of your words. Something about the way you speak, you are being seen as very wise. You could indeed be an oracle. You could be dealing with a lot of uh, fickle personalities right now, astrology destiny there's something in your destiny that's requiring you to make some sort of level up when it comes to your knowledge you could be studying numerology um sacred geometry something about numbers vortex is coming through we've got a lot of bright blue energy clarity crystal clear something is becoming crystal clear to you a clear solution you could be an advisor of some sort, policy maker, something about policy, confirmation, shooting stars. Someone is looking for some sort of confirmation from you, clarity, something about clarity. You're, okay, so oracle, crystal ball, shooting stars. You are a healer, star seed energy, for sure, for sure. Could be a florist someone could be a florist someone could be a tarot reader or tarot enthusiast guidance someone is seeking guidance through the uh novelty is what's coming through something about novelty tarot tarot reader guidance you're being guided in another direction someone's being guided in another direction maybe away from you and we've got aura observation. So you're very uh, much being observed at this time. Smoke, prayer, something about praying, prayer. Someone needs your prayers right now. Someone's wishing on a star. Something about your aura, your magnetic. Why is numerology here? Something to do with numbers. You could be some sort of some sort of data processor, something about data processing, trap here. Someone was trapped, it has to do with numerology. Someone could have been misabusing their, uh, their gifts when it comes to knowledge, something about knowledge. Someone's trapped, someone can't get out of this trap. Someone set a trap for you, not knowing you're an oracle. You receive a lot of visions, downloads in your sleep. Why is Oracle here? Coach is landing on the Aura card. Advice, obedience, knowledge. You're very obedient. You're, the range of your uh, energy is being extended. Something about you being this antenna, this broadcaster. There's something that your energy is broadcasting. It has to do with your wisdom. Someone no longer wants to be fickle when it comes to their feelings for you. Someone sees you as a flower, a flower of life, a seed. Someone wants to crack you open, cracking, something about cracking. This person could be overindulgent, fate, something about fate. And again, we've got tarot cards here. So for some of you, you could be a reader. You could uh, just be someone that gives very good guidance you take a lot of time to study. You're very resourceful. Something about you being resourceful was Oracle here. Could be a coach, a lifestyle coach. Self-love, wisdom. You know the meaning of love. You don't uh, misplace your love to get anything in return. Hesitation. Someone's very hesitant about coming toward you. They know how smart you are someone knows how smart you are someone would like for you to pray for them fickle why is fickle here blind it's clarifying fickle promise someone 
and then readiness someone who broke a promise to you in the past they didn't see something they couldn't see your aura you've been teaching this person it feels more energetic than anything they're able to hear you this person could be hearing you in their sleep hearing you in their room even though you're not there they were blind but now they see or they want to see they want to see something differently they want you to see something differently we have this Clarity here, crystal ball, very intense energy. Someone feels like they've been struck. They're still very hesitant. So there is an energy of hesitancy, hesitancy, hesitant. Okay, because you're okay. You could feel as if you're okay no matter what happens. You accept it all as God's will. Clarity, charity, someone needs charity. Or someone could feel that you're looking at them as a charity case. Someone saw you as a charity case. Someone is uh, contemplating making an offer to you. Someone's trapped. Someone needs your help. Shooting star mask is coming out sideways. Care. So someone is lacking the support that they need and it's because they just they can't decide which face to put on someone wears a lot of different masks something's been revealed about this person why is tarot here adventure and then we have alliance here followed by aid. Someone that you could have been recently aligned with needs your help. They see you as uh, the star that's taking off. Someone who's quite brilliant, humble, kind. You're able to love others because you love yourself truly. You don't have a lot of uh, hangups, shall we say. You, you know who you are. Trap. Why is trap here? Trap. Okay, this is landing on self-love. Mature man. So there's a masculine energy. Could be an older energy that is learning how to love themselves. I feel like you're showing this person... It could be very wise. Courtship is here. There is someone who is learning to love themselves. They're aging out of vanity. Is that what it? Yeah, someone who was quite vain before is reaching an age where they're like literally aging out of being vain. Huh, I don't know what that means exactly. Let's go back to this trap. Okay, this is landing on top of blind and adventure, poverty. So blind, clarifying, fickle, above tarot and adventure with poverty, high honor. Someone, this is similar energy to the last reading where someone has hit a uh, stroke of bad luck. Someone could have recently suffered a stroke that's caused some vision impairment they're running out of money if they haven't run out of money already they see you living a life that they could only now just dream of thief this person was a thief they could have stolen something from you and now they're suffering some severe severe judgment coach or uh, you could be a spiritual teacher you're teaching others how to expand their energetic field something about your energetic field and expansion here we've got main male more masculine energy lovers someone could have a choice between two partners something about a partnership there's some trickery here with this mask card mask mask coach adventure why is mask here? So we've got a mature man kind of sideways and a main male. 
It's main mail. Could be some sort of coach. Could be sports, business. Feels more like business. Business coaching. Someone could be really good at math, graphs. Message of concern is clarifying mask and confirmation followed by message. So there's a lot of messaging going on. Someone's received confirmation when it comes to some sort of health dilemma. It's feeling like a dilemma to this person. They feel trapped. They are uh, could have used some sort of fortune telling uh, divination type of communication, hence this tarot card here to try to get some sort of uh, clear reading on what's happening with their health. They're realizing that something's not changing. Someone wants to contact you. They're very hesitant. Someone is aware that you're aware of their situation. They don't know how that is. Maybe this is somebody, maybe you are uh, into the art of tarot and there's someone that doubted your belief system and now they see something differently when it comes to the work that you do, that you are in fact an actual living and breathing oracle. You know things and there's no way you should be able to know certain things. Hesitation, toil and labor, imprisonment. So clarity, hesitation, toil and labor. Now we have a gift here. So hard work, drudgery is what's coming to mind. Drudgery, someone hesitated, even though they had the information, they had an eagle's eye view. They knew that if they went one way, there was a certainty, but they chose something else and it backfired. There's been some sort of backfire here. Why is trap here with numerology? Someone could be trying to trap you using magic, something about numbers, the power of numbers. You could be a numerologist. That could be your gift, seeing patterns. Whoa, trap. Those just kind of flipped out and I didn't really even mean them to. And they're landing here on top of message of concern and oracle. She lied to you to keep this man away. I will always love you, my sweet and precious friend. Don't empower foolishness. So you've been dealing with a lot of false friends. And you've received confirmation about that. And then what's also interesting here is that there's like this soft pink color in this gown. And... It's here in this card. So there could be a lot of different people trying to message you. Message, message, message. I'm not speaking clearly. Someone can't speak clearly. Don't empower foolishness. You've empowered these people in the past and they want you to do it again. You know someone's a liar. You know someone loves you. you. You don't doubt that someone loves you. And you did once have a very sweet and precious relationship with someone. But you sacrificed too much, so you had to step away. You are wise enough to step away from foolishness because you know it wasn't going to lead you anywhere. Trap. Access denied, and it's landing on adventure and guidance. So whoever this is that sees you moving on in a uh, in a way that they just didn't didn't think possible, you're uh, whoever you are. You've come to terms with who you are. You're not downplaying yourself anymore, but you are very humble. You're remaining humble throughout these changes that are occurring in your life when it comes to gifts that you're receiving. You understand now something about your spiritual self that you didn't before. You're very clear. And so access 
is denied. It's not even like you have to put anything out there. You just don't have, you're not responding to something, to someone, and people are realizing that access to you is denied. It just doesn't, it's just what it is. Let's try this trap again. Continue to keep your boundaries up. Dehydration is landing on hesitation, toil, and labor, and clarity. Someone could be very dehydrated, needs to drink some water. Someone might be able not to drink water. Surrogate here is at the bottom of the deck. Surrogacy. Pretend. Pretend. Someone's pretending they're wearing a mask. Dehydration. Unlicensed doctor. Unlicensed doctor. So someone could have been prescribed some medication for an illness that is nothing um, less than actual dehydration and they've been given some medication or someone's been given some medication and it's caused dehydration. Something about numbers. This could even be blood pressure. Someone's blood pressure. Something was misread. Something was misread and now someone's trapped in some sort of health situation. Why is trapped here? Someone could have lost their doctor's license, physician's license. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through all my groaning all day long. Trapped. Someone's trapped in their grief. Someone's trapped in their grief. Someone could have recommended a physician to you knowing that they'd lost their license. And this person has uh, misdiagnosed you, misassessed, something about not properly assessing a situation, access is denied. Whoever this unlicensed doctor is, they've been denied access to their hospital. Why is poverty here? This could be someone that is connected to you. This could be an actual doctor that you've been going to for a long time. And you're just now finding out personal chef landed on the floor in reverse poverty. So if this uh, unlicensed doctor made a lot of money and spit, spent extravagantly, this could just be, this could be a doctor that never had a license. They're just a fraud. This could be someone pretending to be some lifestyle coach guru saying that they've got a PhD or something like that and they don't have these credentials at all. It's been found out. You could have revealed something about this energy here. This person could be really misguiding people and it's got folks dehydrated. Something about mineral intake. <sighs> Man, I swear, people are a trip. Where am I? Ugh, mature man. Someone's been misdiagnosed. Could be complaining about like arthritis or something like that. And been given some medication, prescription, and that's not what it is. Here we have trying to provoke you. Someone's trying to provoke you but access is denied. They don't want you seeing the future. They don't want you living in the future. Someone doesn't want you living in the future. Legal expert, you could, uh, someone could be trying to put you in some sort of position where you're going to require some legal expertise. And, oh my God, look, Rom, Wrong prescription, wrong prescription. Holy hell, holy hell, I just gotta chill. Someone has been giving the wrong prescription. And it's causing dehydration or that's, this, that's what this was. All they had to do was just tell them to drink more water. But they're greedy, they wanna do all this billing. There's an unlicensed, there's a physician that has lost their license for giving out the wrong prescriptions on purpose 
for billing. That's not for everybody. Oh my God, that's... And this person is living, they were living the lifestyle, man. They had a personal chef. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, I don't even remember writing this card. Unlicensed doctor, wrong prescription, dehydration. This is a mess. So this person, if they had any hospital, um, they could, yeah, whatever. They've lost access to a hospital. Someone's lost access to a hospital. And you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, where to go? Mature man. So this mature man could have been prescribed wrongly. This could have to do with some fraud. South Africa. Someone could be from South Africa. This could be something that's happening in South Africa. There could be a major event happening in South Africa. Something about dehydration. And I don't know anything about the climate in South Africa, but this could have something to do with the climate in this region. Huh, South Africa could have something to do with the currency, South African currency with this numerology card here. Trap, someone could have traveled to South Africa, could have gotten caught with some prescription drugs. Unlicensed doctor, this unlicensed doctor could originally be from this region, or you could be in this region. Someone could have recently returned from here. Or this could be simply, not simply, a news event that's going to pop up. Something about de dehydration, South Africa, access denied, wrong prescriptions, unlicensed doctor. Okay. Someone's getting prescriptions illegally from this region. Here we have, you are gorgeous. Someone sees you as very gorgeous. Anything else, please and thank you. I'm just going to see what else comes out of here. Okay, this card came out earlier in the last reading. So this is significant because you see I got a lot of cards. So... Something about spiritual warfare that's taking on some sort of new form that the collective is rising up to combat. Something about combat, combative, combat. Something about combat could be in South Africa, some sort of conflict in South Africa. Some sort of conflict's about to break out in that region. All right, I think I'm just going to Make this one short. Final messages for the collective. Clear your space. Very important to clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng, feng shui. So something about the energy. I feel like you've already cleared out or you're still clearing out because this access denied card is very strong, feeling very strong. And this is about taking back your power. This card showed up in the last reading. So as the collective, the collective is coming together and growing stronger. The vibration is rising. The currency is changing is what's coming through. Currency is changing. Value systems are changing. Anything else from this deck, please and thank you. Someone's value system is changing. Compassion. Archangel Zachiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So someone was um, given prescriptions that they weren't needed and it created some other sort of calamity, not calamity, but what might feel like a calamity, literally. Um, just, you know, someone needs compassion and uh you have the understanding, spiritual understanding to, to look at this situation, whatever it is, from different lenses, seeing things clearly, seeing their things clearly. Someone hesitated, maybe someone hesitated to report an unlicensed doctor who was giving out the wrong prescriptions and 
there's been a lot of trouble because of this and someone is really wishing they would have taken action sooner to stop this individual. This feels pretty specific, so I don't know who this is for. Um, yeah. All right, you guys. I'll see you soon in another video.